small and medium enterprises employ more than 2.5 million people and contribute up to 70% of Uganda's gross domestic product. The sector, however, faces several bottlenecks with poor access to international markets still standing out. How do we equip local entrepreneurs and businesses to take advantage of the many opportunities to get better and stronger? To overcome geographical and other disadvantages, we must benchmark ourselves against the best in the world, not just against the similar economies. This year's World Export Development Forum, happening in Kigali, is placing emphasis on small and medium enterprise development to bridge the ever-widening unemployment gap. By 2030, we need to generate an additional 500 million jobs to keep up with the growth in the world's working age population. 500 million. It's a sobering figure. But more and better jobs will mean the difference between a demographic dividend and a social time bomb. The lion's share of these jobs will be generated by small and medium enterprises, since they today account for most jobs and generate the majority of new ones. At the center of this push is the need to promote value addition as a precursor to international market access. While business in Africa until recently focused on the extractive sector, today the biggest opportunities lie in greater value addition in Africa, building on its assets in the agri-food sector, in the manufacturing, and please let's not forget in the services sector. For the efforts to get the small and medium enterprises to tap into the international market to be successful, several factors have to come into play. The quality of the product cannot be underestimated, but most importantly, the enabling policies to facilitate cross-border trade at a small and micro level. Ingrid Nantege, NTV, Kigali.